This is from the May 2016 IB Chemistry SL examinations. This question 11 from paper 1. Please take a moment to read it, try it, and then hit play again. So if we're dealing with the resonance structures, that means I'm going to have to draw out Lewis structures for covalent molecules. Now I can rule out right away that NABR is a very ionic compound. I don't need to worry about that one. I'm not going to draw a Lewis structure because the bromine is so much more electronegative than the sodium. It's going to form ions exchanging electrons rather than uh, rather than sharing them. So I can ignore the, that one right off the bat. But I do need to draw the resonance or the Lewis diagrams for each of them. So C6H12 and we went through Lewis structures in a different video so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on how we do them. We just need to remember that each atom needs eight electrons that you have a total to get based off of how many each one brings to the party and we've got an exemption here with hydrogen. It only needs two electrons because its first energy level can only hold two electrons. So each carbon here, two, four, six, eight, that is totally complete. There are no double bonds in this molecule, which means there are not multiple ways to draw this. And so A is not our answer. Then we can draw out the next one. This is a condensed structural formula, oops. condensed structural formula. Uh, there is no other way for me to draw this structure in this condensed structural form. It's telling me how to put them together. So that is not my answer. That's leading me to believe it's probably going to be this Na2CO3, but that Na is going to form an ion and so is that CO3. So part of this is ionic. That goes back to the last question, question 10 from the exam. This is both ionic as well as containing covalent bonds. And the covalent bonds are within the CO3 part of this. So I need to think about what charge that would be. I know that Na is a one plus charge. The oxidation number for our sodium is always a one positive. That's the charge it's always going to form as an alkali metal. And so that means if there are two of them, I have a positive 2 overall. That means my CO3 that I only have one of that group must be a negative 2 to cancel out to be a neutral molecule overall. So I'm looking for CO3 with a 2 negative, the carbonate ion. So if I draw this one out, This is one way I could draw this molecule. I could just as easily have drawn the double bond between that oxygen and the carbon and gotten rid of that one. Or I could have just as easily and gotten rid of two of those and drawn two new ones there. Or I could have just as easily not drawn the double bond there, left those single bonds there, put the double bond between the carbon and this oxygen, getting rid of those two electrons, each of those, all three of those structures are beautiful. They meet all of my requirements and that's why we call it a resonance structure. So sure enough, D is our answer. There's multiple ways that we can draw where the double bond is. So actually over time, and I should have put this in a two negative bracket, over time that those two electrons there end up becoming delocalized over all three of them. So another way to draw this would be to represent that double bond being shared between them with a dotted line to say that it's being shared between them. And so we'd use that notation instead.